Sir Surendranath Banerjee Bengali, Surendranatha Bandiopadaya the 10th of November 1848 to the 6th of August 1925 was one of the earliest Indian political leaders during the British Raj. He founded the Indian National Association, through which he led two sessions of the Indian National Conference in 1883 and 1885, along with Anandamo and Bose. Banerjee later became a senior leader of the Indian National Congress. Surendranath welcomed Montague Kelmsford reforms, unlike Congress, and with many liberal leaders he left Congress and founded a new organization named Indian National Liberation Federation in 1919. When the Montague Report of 1918 was made public, there was a divide in the Congress over it. The moderates welcomed it while the extremists opposed it. This led to a schism in the Congress with moderate leaders forming the National Liberal Federation of India in 1919. He was also known by the sobriquet Rashtraguru. Rashtraguru. He was editor of the Bengali newspaper. Topic <inaudible> Biography. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Early Life. Surendranath Banerjee was born in Calcutta, Kolkata, in the province of Bengal to a Bengali Brahmin's family. He was deeply influenced in liberal, progressive thinking by his father Durga Sharan Banerjee, a doctor. Banerjee was educated at the Parental Academic Institution and at the Hindu College. After graduating from the University of Calcutta, he travelled to England in 1868, along with Ramesh Chunder Dutt and Bihari Lal Gupta, to compete in the Indian Civil Service examinations. He cleared the competitive examination in 1869, but was barred owing to a claim he had misrepresented his age. After clearing the matter in the courts by arguing that he calculated his age according to the Hindu custom of reckoning age from the date of conception rather than from birth, Banerjee cleared the exam again in 1871 and was posted as assistant magistrate in Silhet. Banerjee was soon dismissed for making a minor judicial error. He went to England to appeal his discharge, but was unsuccessful because, he felt, of racial discrimination. He would return to India bitter and disillusioned with the British. During his stay in England 1874 he studied the works of Edmund Burke and other liberal philosophers. These works guided him in his protests against the British. He was known as the Indian Burke. Topic political career Upon his return to India in June 1875, Banerjee became an English professor at the Metropolitan Institution, the Free Church Institution and at the Ripon College, now Surendranath College, founded by him in 1882. He began delivering public speeches on nationalist and liberal political subjects, as well as Indian history. He founded the Indian National Association with Anandamo and Bose, one of the earliest Indian political organizations of its kind, on 26 July 1876. In 1878 in a meeting to preach the Indian people he said, The great doctrine of peace and goodwill between Hindus and Muslims, Christians and Parisas, I between all sections of our country's progress. Let the word unity be inscribed there in characters of glittering gold, there may be religious difference between us. There may be social difference between us. But there is a common platform where we may all meet, the platform of our country's welfare. He used the organization to tackle the issue of the age limit for Indian students appearing for ICS examinations. He condemned the racial discrimination perpetrated by British officials in India through speeches all over the country, which made him very popular. In 1879, he founded the newspaper, The Bengali in 1883, when Banerjee was arrested for publishing remarks in his paper, in contempt of court, protests and hartles erupted across Bengal, and in Indian cities such as Agra, Faizabad, Amritsar, Lahore and Pune. The Aina expanded considerably, and hundreds of delegates from across India came to attend its annual conference in Calcutta. After the founding of the Indian National Congress in 1885 in Bombay, Banerjee merged his organization with it owing to their common objectives and memberships in 1886. He was elected the Congress president in 1895 at Pune and in 1902 at Ahmedabad. Surendranath was one of the most important public leaders who protested the partition of the Bengal province in 1905. Banerjee was in the forefront of the movement and organized protests, petitions and extensive public support across Bengal and India, which finally compelled the British to reverse the bifurcation of Bengal in 1912. Banerjee became the patron of rising Indian leaders like Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Sarojini Naidu. 
Banerjee was also one of the senior most leaders of the Moderate Congress, those who favoured accommodation and dialogue with the British, after the extremists those who advocated revolution and political independence, led by Bal Gangadhar Tilak left the party in 1906. Banerjee was an important figure in the Swadeshi movement advocating goods manufactured in India against foreign products, and his popularity at its apex made him, in words of admirers, the uncrowned king of Bengal. Citation needed, date equals April 2017. <laughs> Later career The declining popularity of moderate Indian politicians affected Banerjee's role in Indian politics. Banerjee supported the Morley Minto reforms 1909 which were resented and ridiculed as insufficient and meaningless by the vast majority of the Indian public and nationalist politicians. Banerjee was a critic of the proposed method of civil disobedience advocated by Mahatma Gandhi, the rising popular leader of Indian nationalists and the Congress party. Accepting the portfolio of minister in the Bengal government earned him the ire of nationalists and much of the public, and he lost the election to the Bengal Legislative Assembly in 1923 to Bidhan Chandra Roy, the candidate of the Swarajya party, ending his political career for all practical purposes. He was knighted for his political support of the British Empire. Banerjee made the Calcutta Municipal Corporation a more democratic body while serving as a minister in the Bengal government. He is remembered and widely respected today as a pioneer leader of Indian politics first treading the path for Indian political empowerment. The British respected him and referred to him during his later years as Surrender Not Banerjee. But nationalist politics in India meant opposition, and increasingly there were others whose opposition was more vigorous and who came to centre stage. Banerjee could accept neither the extremist view of political action nor the non-cooperation of Gandhi, then emerging as a major factor in the nationalist movement. Banerjee saw the Montague-Kelmsford reforms of 1919 as substantially fulfilling Congress's demands, a position which further isolated him. He was elected to the Reformed Legislative Council of Bengal in 1921, knighted in the same year, and held office as Minister for Local Self-Government from 1921 to 1924. His defeat at the polls in 1923 brought his political career to a close and he went on to write the widely acclaimed A Nation in Making, published in 1925. After Surendranath died at Bharakpur on 6 August 1925. <laughs> Commemoration His name is commemorated in the names of the following institutions, Bharatpur Rastraguru Surendranath College, Raiganj Surendranath Mahadyalaya, Surendranath College, Surendranath College for Women, Surendranath Evening College, Surendranath Law College and the Surendranath Centenary School in Ranchi. <laughs> <laughs> 